This is another spy camera. It's a hidden camera that's in a five port USB hub. This camera allows you to access it remotely when installing the app. First we'll take a look and see what comes inside the box. Here's the user manual that comes with it. Pause to read any sections if you need to. This hidden camera records in 1080p and you have the option to insert a micro SD card to save all your footage or you can sign up to the cloud footage on the app. At the bottom of the 5 port USB hub is where you can insert the micro SD card. On the front you have the 5 USB ports and the camera. Here you can see the camera hidden behind the bigger hole. All 5 USB ports work so you can charge your phone and other devices but at the same time record what's going on in that room for extra security. The body of the USB hub is made of plastic. It comes with a power lead that allows you to plug this into the main so it's constantly powered, constantly providing power to the camera and the USB ports. At the bottom you have the on and off switch, reset button and the micro USB slot. And you can insert up to 128 gigabyte micro SD card if needed. Here you'll insert the micro SD card, leave the switch on, put back the cover. In the bottom we have a power lead which has a three pin plug on it. So now we're going to power on the camera and install the app. There's also a pin included which I think is to press the reset button if needed. So download the 2 Year Smart app and then open that up. Then you're going to click on sign up. Then you're going to tick the box and add in your email address. Click verify, check your emails, then go back to the app and enter in the code. Then it's going to ask you to set up a password and press done. Then you're going to click continue, add device, click continue again. Then press camera and lock on the left side. Then click on smart camera at the top middle. It says make sure the indicator light is flashing which is at the bottom of the hub. Tick the box and press next. Then put in your Wi-Fi router name and password. Or if you press open, I believe it selects the Wi-Fi router that your phone's connected to. So your Wi-Fi router name will appear at the top and then you can put in your password. Then point the QR code that's on your phone at the camera that's on the 5 port USB hub. Then you'll hear a beep once it connects. Then press I heard a prompt. Wait for this to load and connect. I'm just going to speed this section up. Then you're going to press done. This will then load and display what the camera can see onto your phone. This way you can see what the camera can see and you can adjust all the camera settings from the app. We'll have a look through some of the settings. Then I'll show you the footage that I managed to capture on this camera. You can click on the HD and SD to change the picture quality that you see. If you click on screenshot, you just have to accept that. A screenshot will take a photo of what's on the screen and save in your photo album. Same if you press record and then press again to stop. That will also save it in the album. Now if you press on alarm, you can press on the motion detection, change the alarm sensitivity from low, medium or high. Or you can press the schedule by adding in a time. But for me, I'm going to leave that bit. When you click on playback, you can check the footage that's saved on the SD card or the cloud. You can pinch to scroll in and out of the time and scroll forwards and backwards in time to check the footage. And when you click on date, you can see all the dates of the recording. If you press record, you'll record what's on the SD card, which will save to the album. If you click on the pencil in the top right corner, you have an area of more settings. It says there infrared night vision on the app, but this camera doesn't have infrared. So you can't see that well at night, but it will still be recording. This camera will be loop recording, meaning it will save the information to the SD card. And once it's full up, it'll start saving new footage over the old footage. Just so that you constantly have new footage saved. Here you can see the cloud storage options, or use the micro SD card like I'm doing. You can also turn your phone sidewards to view as a full screen. Now I'm going to put this camera in a few different positions around the house and check out the footage and also test out the audio quality. Pick up everything I say. Picture quality is good, the colour is good. I wish it was just a wider angle view. Here you can see there's just a slight delay on the app from when I actually moved, trying to watch this in real time. Hello? Hello? 
Can you hear me? Testing out the mic. That's the sound played back to me out of my phone, playing what the camera can hear. As you can see, there's just a slight delay. I've tested all five ports and they all work and charge my phone. Now from your albums, if you click on it, press the bottom right icon and click save video. That will then save the video or photo to your photo gallery on your phone. Go on your phone settings, go to the To Your Smart app, and make sure the notifications is turned on. If you want to receive notifications, then you receive notifications like this from the app when the camera detects movement. When you click on me in the bottom right corner, you can click on message center, click on movement detected. This will show you short clips of all the movement detected from the camera showing you the time that there was motion detection and the date. You can then click on the image and view the clip. Thanks for watching. I'll leave links and information in the description below. Subscribe and like. Welcome to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.